Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Cheyenne. I'm 21 years old and me and my family recently moved out here to New York. And today I'm going to be doing a breakdown of our lovely little apartment. If you haven't, make sure to go check out our apartment tour that I uploaded last week. And you can get a great visual for what I'm talking about, but do that after you watch this video. So that way you know all the information, you know all the deets, you know all the tea. You know why there is the sound of a moving truck in the background. Like, uh, everything you gotta know, we're gonna talk about right now. So our apartment is a three bedroom, one bath on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. And we are in Manhattan Valley and she's so cute. We love her, we stand her. She has these gorgeous windows. Like, honestly, what a queen. And today I'm going to be talking about pros and cons of our apartment. And then I'm going to tell you how much we pay for her a month. And then I'm going to talk about comparing her to other apartments in the area that are like her. So I'm going to start with our necessities that we had to have, our non-negotiables when we were looking for an apartment. The two non-negotiables that we had that were true non-negotiables is one, we had to have an apartment that was pet friendly. We have two cats, they're beautiful babies. They had to come with us. So our apartment allows us to have pets. The second thing is I am over six months pregnant at this point and I was not going to walk up a bunch of flights of stairs. If my husband was wanting me to move to New York, he was going to find me an apartment that was not two stories or higher. Like it had to be the first story or the second story like that. That was it. And you can call me spoiled, you can call me a brat, but I won and it doesn't matter other than that. You know, like I got my way. Those are the only true negotiables or non-negotiables. Other than that, some things that we wanted is I really wanted a washer and dryer unit in our apartment, which is kind of rare to find here, but it was something that I was willing to pay extra money to because I did not want to spend all day at the laundromat. That's something I've never really done because I had a washer and dryer in my house growing up. And also just being pregnant, I knew that like there was going to be so many other things that I was going to need to do that I did not want to add that to my list. Some other things is the big natural window light is I'm from Arizona, I really need natural light. So during the winter months, when it's going to be dark all the time anyway, I didn't wanna just be in an even darker apartment where the only light was like fluorescence. I need some sunlight, I need some chance of serotonin. So that was something I really wanted, but like, you know, that was something I could learn to live without if I needed to, I would just have to go on a walk. The last thing that I really wanted, but you know, once again, we could work without, is we wanted to live pretty close to Central Park, which we do. And honestly, it's fantastic. We go on weekly walks to Central Park and we like walk around and wander and explore different parts we hadn't been to. And it's really fun and it's really cool. And it's a great way for us to be out as a family and just like have time to chat and just enjoy each other's company. And it's just really nice because we're usually all doing our own things. So I really enjoy it. And I'm glad that we were able to find somewhere close to it. I'm going to break down the pros and cons of our apartment. And just so you guys know, something that I think is important to know is me and my husband got this apartment without seeing it in person. This is because of COVID. Basically, for my husband to have come out before us and get the apartment and like actually do like in-person apartment hunting, he would have had to quarantine first in an apartment like Airbnb or a hotel for two weeks. And then he would have had to start looking and that just wasn't feasible. Like we could have done it, but that didn't make any sense. So we took the risk to get something without seeing it. And I'm gonna do a whole video maybe, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments down below if you're interested about talking about that and just talking about like renting in general in New York. But that's just a little bit of background for you guys to understand the situation, but it's not a bad apartment at all. We have many more pros than cons. And I do have this list down here, so I will be kind of looking over here a little bit, so. If my eyes wander, that's why. Starting with the pros, like I said, it is the first floor, baby. Like, you know, I was okay with a second floor, but I really wanted a first floor and mwah, we got a first floor and it is so nice. And not only is it a first floor, it is a first floor back unit. So we have a nice private yard because that right there is like an office building or a hospital or something and nobody can get back there. And so it's just nice and quiet and beautiful. And it's fantastic. It's just honestly chef kisses all around. I know I keep doing that, but I, it, there's so many good things about this place that just make me so genuinely happy. 
The next really cool thing like I talked about is we have an in-unit washer and dryer. It is a one machine where it like washes it and then it dries it. So it's pretty cool. It kind of sucks just because you can't really do a lot. So we can only do like two pretty small loads a day because we don't want to like overwork it. Another really cool thing, which I know has its like pros and cons, but for us it's a pro is we have self-control heating. So we are allowed to turn on or off our heating as we wish. And I know some people would prefer that just their landlord has it on, but for us, it's really nice. I just prefer it that way. The location of our apartment is something that whenever anybody asks me how I like New York, how are things going? Like that is like one of the first things I talk about because our apartment is close to the Metro. It is close to a shopping center. It is close to good grocery stores. Like it is just in the perfect place because like it's far enough from the Metro that like crazy people can't find our apartment and we're close enough to the like the shopping, but it's also far away enough that like it's kind of an event. So I'm not just going to go like shopping if I'm bored or something, but just just our bodega like it's just everything location wise is fantastic like honestly we could not have gotten a better location if we were here and looking for it like it is such a nice neighborhood and we are so happy like honestly best thing that's happened another pro of it being on the first floor is that it's easy to load in and out so we get a lot of amazon deliveries you know because of covid and just everything that's been going on like we got our christmas gifts through that and then every now and then we get our groceries through that just depending on how like things are looking that week how busy we are another really cool thing about deliveries and just our building is that we have a video intercom and not many buildings that we went and looked at in person had these if any if i remember and it's so cool we could unlock the door through it we can see them and i'm sure there's ton in new york but just the other ones that we saw we didn't have those so it's a really nice thing for us now there are a few cons but None of these cons are anything that we have even like worried about. Like they're nothing, none of these things are things that keep us up at night or things that worry us or things that add, like there's, they're cons because they're slightly annoying, but they're nothing big. The first thing is the walls are really thin in this apartment. And I know that's like a New York thing, but like this apartment in particular, they are very thin. One major con that this apartment has, at least to me, there's a bigger one coming, but like this is the one that bugs me, is that particularly these two windows, we have this one and then this one over here, they just like don't open and close super easily. And I don't know if it's the window glass or if it's like the actual seals, but they let draft in, which is just like kind of annoying. But something really nice is that we have these thick curtains. And so at night or when it gets really chilly, we just close the curtains and it really keeps like the room like warm and it doesn't let as much cold air in. So we found a way to work around it. So once again, not a big deal, nothing I am going to stress too much about. Now, the major thing that I think is why our apartment is so cheap and why like it could be less loved by other people is right next door is a loading dock. They have trucks that come in and it is, very loud, but we don't care. Like we literally don't even notice. And to prove that we don't notice, in last week's video of the apartment tour, if you have seen it, and if you haven't, I'm sorry, cause I'm going to maybe ruin it for you. There is a loading truck that is going beep, 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 beep the entire time. And we didn't notice. And I specifically remember waiting until it was quiet to start recording. So. We have gone to the point where we don't even notice it, but I think that that was enough of a deterrent for other people that it wasn't really like going off the market because I literally don't know what else it is unless something horrible happens in the next few months and like there's something awful with our plumbing or like, I, I don't know, but we haven't had any problems yet. Like that is the only thing. Now to get to the part that everybody wants to know about you know our pros and cons you know that it's a three bedroom one bath in manhattan valley but you want to know how much do you pay cheyenne how much do we pay now if you're going to be offended you can click out now thank you for watching up to now but here you go for our apartment we pay 1975 a month and just before anybody wants to come at us because one i know that that is a lot of money to be paying 
for rent, especially as somebody who was living on the West Coast and chose to move to the East Coast where before we were paying like $1,100 a month for a much larger place. There are so many things here in New York that make it worth it to us. And that's just something you need to keep in mind. Like I know that like New York and paying that much rent is not for everybody. And that's why not everybody moves here. But for us so far in our family, like it's been really great. And it has just a lot of advantages that are going to be very important for our family in the next few months. So just, you know, for us, it's great. If you don't agree with that, if you don't like how much that is, like, I'm sorry, don't move here. Like it's that simple. But I do wanna talk a little bit about our rent prices compared to others. So this whole time I was saying our apartment is so cheap. Our apartment is cheap. Our apartment is, like I said, $19.75 a month. The average of other apartments around us is $2,300 a month. And this is for fourth and fifth floor apartments because that's all that's available right now in this like area that I looked in. And so for us to have the same comparative apartment in a fantastic neighborhood, on the first floor for 1975 is a blessing and like i said everybody can have their own opinion of that but for us it is a steal and it is it's crazy so that's it that is the full breakdown of our apartment its price its location and how it compares to other apartments and i would just like to say i think we got a great apartment but you can only know that if you go and check out our apartment tour, which is linked down below. Also, when you're down there, there's a link to my Instagram. Make sure to go say hello to me. And if you really like this video, please make sure to like it. I have some other fun ideas talking about renting in New York, the kind of the process of setting up and lots of other New York videos. So if you would like that, make sure to like this video and thank you so much again for watching. Bye.